Hi everybody. Alright, so I'm gonna hurry up and make this video as fast as I can because and this is actually gonna be a long video. But yeah, I'm gonna show you this first. My mom went to a store and got me this. She found these owl um, wind chimes, and there's different colors. But she got me the green and pink, and a brown color, colored one, and then the hook is also green. Um, but this is not going outside. It's actually hanging up on my wall. So, yeah. It's really cute. And white. Sorry, I forgot the white. But I have this hook right here. It goes right in the middle of my thing. And it hooks right there. So, yeah. Here it is. Okay, but this is what the actual video is. Um, I'm gonna put you guys in the thing, so sorry if my hand gets in the way. I have ten tubes. <coughs> sorry if I cough. Okay, but I got ten tubes. Okay, right, here's two, two, there's four, here's six, eight, ten. Yeah, I have ten tubes. Okay, this is going to take me a while because I actually have to cut them. I should have pre-cut them already, but I'm going to show you exactly how you do it. It, you just have to make slits. I know I made a video of this already. You can make big slits or small slits, but the slits have to be even, and there still has to be a tube in the middle. Like a tunnel spot so we can go through it. Once they chew it. And this one's just going to be a pom-pom flare-up thing. Not the treat one. Next one I'll make a treat. Usually the tubes he has in his cage now are just a regular tube like this. Nothing other than that. So, yeah. You kind of have to be careful when you cut because there's some parts that overlap on the tube and it's kind of hard to cut. So, you have to be careful on it. And it does not matter how big the slits are, but he likes them small, so I cut them sort of big, but sort of small. Yeah. I apologize in advance for this video being so long. Um, this actually is going to be in parts, um, because how long it's going to be. I'm not sure how many parts yet. Sorry for my friend. Sorry, I got a song stuck in my head. There we go. Pretty even to me. So here's just one side. And this is just going to be a flare. So instead of pushing them in, I push them out. And it's up to you. You can make them push them all completely down so they stick straight out. But yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. So you can push them completely down and they go completely out like a squid. You can leave it just like this, where it's just like that. Or you can cut the other side 
I, he's actually never had one of these ones yet, so I'm going to leave this one how it is. And this one's going to be a treat one. These ones kind of have to be big slits. Not like super, super duper big, but just big. And they have to be even. If they're not even, then it's not going to be good. If I'm not talking, it's because I'm trying to concentrate on how many things I'm making. It doesn't matter on how many slits you make. You just have to sort of have them equally apart. And with me, I always have to have even numbers with it. I don't know why. So if I'm silent while doing this, it's because I'm counting. Here's my slits, and these ones I'm just pushing inwards. These ones are a little uneven, but it doesn't make a big deal, okay? It's not the worst scenario, okay? You just have to bend them a little more at the tips. Um, like, you don't have to be, like, spot on even with it, but you have to at least be pretty, pretty close, which I have here. It's not, like, completely even, even, but it's not, like, bad, badly uneven either, so, yeah. And this one I'm making, these slits I'm making just a tiny bit bigger. It just depends on what kind of tube you have. Like if you have a toilet paper tube, you can put um, Timothy hay in there, any types of hay that you have. You can put treats, you can put just regular food. Um, you can put vegetables and stuff. And, yeah. You can... You just don't, like, pack things in there that you wouldn't feed them on a regular day basis. Like... I don't put his pretzels in here all the time because he only gets them once in a while. And yeah. So I haven't gave him a pretzel in like a month. Yeah, these were a lot bigger. I'm trying to hurry so I'm not like making this video terribly long so I can make the second part already. Some of these will just be redos. Um, 
of the toys that I'm making. You see these ones are like really uneven. Where am I on here? 10 minutes, okay, yeah. So, I'll just hurry up and put a mixture of his food in here. Um, it's just his Fiesta Max and all living things. Drib hamster and dribble diet is in here. And I just shook it up so it's a mixture. So yeah. You just fill it up. And you can put um hay and do all that stuff with it. So and the bottom's actually collecting it very nicely. It's actually not coming out when I put it in there. So I really like this bottom that I made. So I'm gonna put one pretzel in there because he hasn't had one in a while now. And I'm gonna put a green one in there. So I'm gonna have a green one. Then you just fold these over. Like you do to the bottom. You just put the food in it first. There. And here's the bottom. And here's the top. Or here's the bottom and here's the top. Doesn't really matter. So, yeah. There's a big difference in it, but he really likes these toys, so, yeah. Um, second part is coming up in a second.